So, remember I said at the beginning we have to baste it every 20 minutes. It's really important because what that does is coat the chicken with nice flavor and it browns the skin and it makes it really yummy when you're going to serve it. So the oven is still at 400. It's been in for a good uh, about 40 minutes. I've basted it a couple times already. You see all that lovely juice and starting to get nice and brown. Just take the baster, fill it up and pour that over. I want to take some juice from the inside. Pour that over, it's getting nice and brown. You can smell it, it smells great. The lemon and the garlic and the thyme. Just like, it like that, get some of that juice. And pour it all over there. There we go. Again, you want to do this every 20 minutes for the hour or so that it's going to be in here. There we go. So we're going to start by making, again, just like as if you were cutting up a, a whole chicken from raw. You're going to slowly cut into the thigh. You do that, get in there. Make that incision right there, there you go. Got that nice piece, there's your nice leg. Let's put that over here. Oh. <laughs> Going. Lots of juice coming out. So if you have a cutting board actually at home that's got the, the edge around, it'll catch all the juices. That makes a big difference. And this chicken's nice and done. This, you can see like this leg just popped right, right out. You don't even have to cut, make an incision. There we go. And we'll cut these now so we have two pieces. There we go. There you go. One, two. One, two. And I think what I'm going to do now is start with the breast. It's a little bit easier to cut the breast off uh, than to get the wing off after. There we go. I'm going to cut that right off. This is actually going to be a boneless, pretty much boneless breast that you're cutting off because you're leaving the bone on the carcass. There's your wing. There's your breast. I'm going to try to keep that skin on. There we go. I'm losing my cutting board. There's your wing. That breast is really large, so I mean, we could really cut it in half if we wanted to serve, make a couple more servings. And you're leaving that off. That you can, and this, when you're cutting this off, you can really leave the cartilage in this, on, the, on the carcass, so you don't need to cut that off. Not like when we're cutting it from raw. Slowly take that breast off. It's nice and moist still. We didn't overdo it. Perfect. There we go. Let's turn this around. Wing. There's your breast. Nice big piece. Let's get our other wing off. There we go. You have got your eight pieces. And really, you know what? We could always almost make it ten pieces because these breasts are very large. We could cut those again in half. And you can leave the I mean, the cavity of the bird is great now to make stock, even with this, once the chicken is prepared and finished. I really like to eat the neck, so sometimes I put the neck on there too. You can just cut that off. It's been nice and brown. There's lots of nice, juicy meat on there. And ta-da, we're done. So thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoy your roast chicken and your roasted potatoes and vegetables. Enjoy your evening, sit around with your family, enjoy each other's company, and relax. So from Cynthia Beretta of Red Organic Farms and from our farm to your table, have a nice evening. Goodbye.